Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Welcome to day 10 of our 12 cast ons adventure for this end of year, beginning of year season. <laughs> Um, there is a video link below if you're happening to stumble across this video and you don't know what the 12 cast ons are or what I'm rambling on about then there's a video linked below which will explain a little bit more for you so you might want to watch that one first if you're as I say just finding your way here for the first time. I've only got three cast ons left today and then the weekend and I've got so many projects so many projects in my queue that I'd really really like to start but hey that is the the joy and the pain of the 12 cast ons we have to stop somewhere <laughs> and to be honest although i'll be sad to stop the cast ons and st stop talking to you every day i will be a slightly happy to take a little break from the video editing because it takes so much time <laughs> so it's friday today friday the 7th of january and friday the 7th of january marks this staff day so this staff day is something that I wasn't aware of. I think maybe I heard of it for the first time last year or possibly the year before when I started getting a little bit more into spinning. And it's not something I have yet done a lot of research around or know a lot about, um, but I thought I'd just grab some information from Wikipedia to share with you. So Wikipedia says that in many European cultural traditions women resumed household work after 12 days of Christmas and women of all classes would spend their evenings spinning on a wheel during the day they would carry a drop spindle with them um, spinning was oftentimes the only means of turning raw wool cotton or flax into thread which could then be woven into cloth uh, so I thought it might be fitting to start a spinning project today for this stuff day I did some fiver prep earlier on in the 12 cast ons for a wheel spin which will hopefully become a love note sweater um, so for the first time ever not only do we have one spin project but two spin projects that I'm starting as part of my 12 cast ons so I thought as I have already started a project which will eventually become a wheel spin it might be fun to start a spindle spinning project today and I was hoping to start this project outside but the weather has been against me today <laughs> So I have already been outside and I'll pop some footage in um, of that a little bit later after I've stopped waffling about my project for the day. Um, but I went for a nice walk. I had some orders to post. So I went to the post office um, and then I had a nice little loop round walk in the pouring rain. <laughs> Um, taking in some views of Car Cardiff Bay um, and then also to a lookout point which looks out and over down onto Penarth Pier and the beach and I had hoped that when I reached that nice viewpoint I might be able to stop and start my spin for a while and do my intro chat but it was raining cats and dogs <laughs> I had to watch my words then um so yeah it wasn't possible never mind I'm back home now um starting to warm up slightly although not really and I'm much drier <laughs> Uh, so yes I have decided to start a spindle spinning project today and you might know from vlogmas that I received a fibre advent I purchased a fibre advent for my lovely friend Caroline of the Colourful Creativity podcast and originally my plan when I put in the order for that fibre advent was that I would spin it through December um, but then I last minute accidentally found myself volunteering um, being strong armed <laughs> into um a test knit and so I ended up working on a test knit sweater which hopefully I'll be able to share with you at some point this year and so my plans of a little bit of spinning every day um, a little bit of knitting every day on some of my um, yarns from some of my other advents just didn't happen so I've got 24 little packages that look a bit like this from the lovely Caroline um, that are dying to be spun up so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start spinning on my spindle um, all of the little bumps of fibre that were in my advent calendar. And my plan is, um, in part inspired by our lovely Kate, who has recently cast on a litmus cow, um, my plan will be to hopefully spin for a litmus cow. So I'm going to spin up my 24 bumps of fibre and then I might con then I might spin a contrasting sort of neutral shade of yarn. So this will be a pretty long term project again. Um, but one that I am looking forward to getting started and after all knitting, spinning, crocheting, weaving, all of the things that we do are nice slow crafts in the main and, and for some of our bigger projects like this 
we embark on them not expecting to to finish them in record time it's all about the process and the getting to the finished object at some point someday one day <laughs> so my idea for this episode was rather than to do a vlog was to share my openings of my advent calendar because i recorded every day in december opening these advent packages however unfortunately i've had a bit of a technical malfunction and some of the advent footage that i took has been lost um between my between space space issues on my laptop and running out of space on my camera sd card i accidentally lost deleted some footage that i shouldn't have um, which is actually a bit of a shame but for the for this project it it probably it could have been worse because caroline packed these up and they're random openings so it's not like there was a particular order to open these up on so what i think i'm going to do open up all of these packages um lay out all of the fiber so you can see it all um i'll lay out all of the goodies that are left there may be uh, confession time some of the chocolate and edible goodies might be missing <laughs> and i'll also come back and show you some of the extra gifts that were in the fiber calendar but i'll probably come back and do that tomorrow morning although you'll see it in a minute oh, this is already a mess sorry <laughs> you will see that footage soon i will record it tomorrow morning because the light is rapidly fading today because i'm getting such a late start on this video um so i want to show off the goodies in that advent calendar in the best sort of light possible um so you can really get a picture of the lovely advent calendar that caroline put together but for today i have once again just randomly picked one of the packages i've got a drawer that i put all of these in over the other side of the room and i just randomly grabbed one today when i thought i was going to go out spinning so we can open this one together today and see what we've got so i did put in my um my spindle in the package which i'm going to start on this 3d printed turkish spindle um which was also a gift from caroline um so i've got my spindle ready it's this beautiful um sort of bronzy color and in my fiber bag today oh i flashed it already look at this <laughs> isn't this just amazing this colorway is beautiful it's got all of the colors of the rainbow in it um so this is the one that i'm going to be starting with i think i'll spin them all up and then i might settle on some sort of fade order or i don't know yet that's going to be a long way off um my first aim of course is going to be to spin up the yarn so i'm going to go for a two ply to maximize my yardage so i will basically just be spitting sp spitting <laughs> i will be splitting um these little chunks of fiber in half and spinning um two separate bumps and then plying them together uh, so yeah i get to start on this amazing rainbow piece of fiber today um, and just for completion look i didn't eat all of the chocolates because there's a chocolate in here <laughs> and there's also a cup of royal tea richard's royal tea in moroccan mint so i reckon this will be the perfect thing to warm me up so i'm gonna make i'm gonna go and make a cup of this i'll put this on the side and hopefully start a bit of spinning here we are again another day another trip out in the rain <laughs> beautiful south wales
Saturday! Yay! <laughs> ah, can you tell I'm happy that it's the weekend? <laughs> for a short week it's been a long week and i'm sure lots of people will relate i've got a slight change of plan for this vlog i was going to spread out my advent calendar i said earlier in the video and show you all of the amazing fiber however i'm not going to do that now <laughs> can you hear that i'm not sure if the microphone will pick that up newt has just been playing with her <laughs> toy from fred again and she's now high on catnip and running around the house meowing like an absolute loon for no reason other than catnip pie <laughs> uh, so yes i'm not going to be spreading out my advent calendar today because the weather is not playing ball it was like i've got the overhead light on today which is why the light's a bit yellower just miserable here this morning absolutely miserable maybe it will cheer up later but i haven't got any more time to wait I've waited until 11 o'clock. I've been up for a couple of hours hoping that the light would improve so that I could show you everything, but uh, it's just... <laughs> Newt is now scrabbling around on the back of the chair. Fred, if you're watching, you've got a lot to answer for. <laughs> uh, so yes, the light is not playing ball, so I'm not going to um, spread out, take the time to spread out the advent calendar because that will take some time to get everything out of the bags and lay it all out and I just wouldn't be able to show it off to its best advantage. But you will see that at some point because a little spoiler for some content that will be coming up hopefully throughout the rest of the year, I have decided to make some project vlogs so that I can share my progress and the continuation of the projects that I've cast on. So anytime that I work on a project, I'll perhaps just pick up the camera for a, a couple of minutes and just share that with you and sort of make a vlog around each of the projects that I've cast on. So you will get to see all of the lovely fibre at some point. Okay, let's ignore cat shenanigans. Let's get over the disappointment of not sharing the fibre with you. And let's concentrate on the fun that is the community cast-ons for today. Um, so the lovely Liz, or Liz, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, sorry, um, has started an easy puzzle blanket, um, which is a pattern from Pearl Soho, which she is gifting to some friends who are expecting their first baby. That's really lovely, isn't it? Um, Tanya has made a plan and she's now all in for the cast-on, she said. <laughs> She's got to nine, so she's going to see how she goes and has actually cast on two pairs of socks so far. So welcome to the cast on party, Tanya. We are so happy to have you. Um, Melissa has started a farmhouse cardigan and Melissa said she, she's not sure if this is her eighth or ninth cast on. So I'm so glad to hear that I'm not the only one who's getting confused <laughs> about where they are, what they're doing, how many projects have cast on. Melissa, you have made me feel so much better. <laughs> Um, Angela C has cast on a Gilbert hat and she said she bought this hat as a kit from her local LYS and it has quite special meaning to her because um, one of the ladies connected to her LYS which has now gone online similar to, to my shop um, has recently passed away and that lady taught Angela a few of her knitting skills so uh, she said that hat has got some special connections and meanings to her so I hope you enjoy every stitch of that hat Angela. Jeanette said that she ended up frogging one of her projects a bit like um, my failed start of my Carlina. Um, she frogged her birch sweater uh, because she said her brain just wasn't engaging with following the pattern for the short rows so she decided to put it to one side for now and has cast on a pair of lovely um, pattern scroy socks for her partner or her husband um, who has often requested knitted items but always gets left to the bottom of the pile. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Poor Bob. <laughs> the lovely Fee, um, Fiona of um, Flourish Fibres who often comments as Feltaria here on the channel said she had time off work over Christmas and was planning to start her cast-ons but then got really in the mood to work on some of her works in progress and so went with that because crafting time is about is not really about shoulds it's about what you fit, fancy doing and I completely agree with that um, Fee. So she said that she spent a lot of time on her break working on her whips which is amazing but then the day before she went back to work <laughs> she had the urge to cast on and cast on three projects in one day <laughs> 
and has now got up to five projects in total. Um, so she's knitting a pair of type um striping up some leftovers which oh, just sounds so cozy and it's another cold day here in south wales so some woolly tights would be amazing um she's also started a on my notes it says kyle shawl but i don't think that's the right name i think maybe autocorrect has done me a dirty <laughs> let me just try and quickly flick back through my comments bear with me a kyla shawl i knew that didn't sound right um, and it's a pattern by Isabel Kramer. And she said she's casting on in a nice sludgy green colour. We all love a sludgy green um, from Woolly Knits. And she's cast on some mittens from the latest Shetland Wool Week annual. Are they the nice brown ones? No, I think they're gloves rather than mittens. If you've cast on those nice brownie ones with the star, you'll know the ones I mean. And I am super jealous. Um, she's also cast on a Suric Pinafore, which is a pattern from... Goodwin Johnson's Shetland Trader book. She's also cast on some simple wrist warmers. Brianna says she has caught the cast on bug and has started some socks from some Malabrigo yarn and has plans for a hat cast on as well. Um, Laura has cast on and finished a baby squid amigurumi for her husband, which just sounds so much fun. And she's also cast on an Ingrid doll, another amigurumi sort of crochet pattern. And that's gonna be a gift for her mum, Mary. So she is confessing <laughs> to another cast on. And she started a waffle weave blanket using the hand spun from her advent calendar, her fiber advent calendar, which just sounds like it's going to be amazing. Can't wait to see that, Mary. Kathy E has started a simple striped sweater. Kathy B. <laughs> has started it's just made, making me chuckle that all the Cathy's are clustering together again <laughs> it's like the Cathy club in the comments um, I'm not sure if these comments are, they might not even be on the same video they just come up um, on my YouTube app in that order and the Cathy's always seem to come together so Cathy B has started a dragon scales capelet and she's using a skein of merino yak cashmere hand spun um, but she's not sure if she's got enough yarn so she said she might have to switch to another yarn for the neck of that capelet um, but that sounds amazing I mean merino yak cashmere I can almost feel that it's going to be like have the squishiness of the cashmere and the warmth of the yak lovely Ellie said she recast on one of her projects the foxy friend the foxy frenzy um, she's making it slightly wider and in different yarn so a few of us are having um, issues with our cast ons but you know it's always good to take the time to get these things right isn't it and to end up with a project that you're going to be happy with and she's also cast on her 12th project well done thank you for going the distance with me ellie um she has started an interlocking crochet dishcloth which interlocking crochet is a new technique um to ellie's the lovely sylvia said she's finished her hat for her son which i think was her first project that she cast on and she said that this was a really lovely story in the comments so thank you for sharing sylvia she said she inadvertently realized once she's finished the hat that she'd cast it on and the colors were her father's football team cover colors so her father's favorite football team so now her, her son has got like a connection to his granddad um through that hat which yeah the magic of knitting as sylvia said in her comments uh, she's also started a crochet baby blanket and she's using some west yorkshire spinners bow peep yarn which she bought from yarn and yarns so thank you sylvia i um, always love to see those projects that are being made from the yarns from my shop it's always an extra thrill for me to see those um, out in the world Pamela has started a Meg's dress dishcloth um, which is a pattern from the kitchen sink shop and apparently um, the kitchen sink shop <laughs> um, has a dishcloth pattern every month of the year. By the end you could have a whole pile of 12 dishcloths ready to gift that would make it just a lovely handmade gift wouldn't it. Lynn says she finished her rainbow bunny and has found the perfect alpaca silk yarn for the duckling that she wanted to cast on and oh just think about those sort of like fluffy duckling pictures that you see. You know the ones. Super fluffy, super fluffy yellow balls. And <laughs> you know those super fluffy, you just want to reach out and give it a squish. But you can't because it's a duckling and you don't want to squish a duckling. <laughs> anyway, silk, alpaca, just perfect. <laughs> oh dear. Licking frogs, squishing ducklings. <laughs> no. Um, Lynn has also started a spin project. She is carding some Finn Peridale fleece 
and she is going to spin for a sock along that the make along that um, Carrie of my wool mitten is hosting. Um, if any of you are spinners and are wanting or enjoy making socks with your hand spun yarn, then the lovely Carrie of my wool mitten channel here on YouTube has just started a spin and make along. Anyone loves to spin for socks or if anyone is wanting to spin for socks and hasn't yet um, felt like they've got the skill to do that, then hop on over to um, Carrie's channel, My Wool Mitten, and join in with that make along. Our lovely Elizabeth um, has a, another cast on the Keltiath, 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 sorry, Welsh pronunciation, um, <laughs> which is a scarf. Oh my goodness, my predictive text has gone all over the place again. Hang on a second. I should know this because it's a pattern by my dear friend Jenny of Owl About Yarn. It is a scarf, yeah. So that's Elizabeth's cast on for today. Um, Metatron Girl, sorry, I don't know your name name, uh, said she has received some Corydale roving and is waiting for a spindle to start her very first spin. So she hasn't started spinning yet, but she said the Corydale roving that she's got is so super soft. Um, so I'm really excited that you will be hopefully casting on with us before the end of the month with your very first spin. I'm, I'm really excited for you because yay, spinning. <laughs> Um, Lottie has started her fourth and final cast on and Lottie is um, from Enjoying the Journey Cancer as a Lifestyle channel here on YouTube and she has cast on a crochet, a crochet shrug, Cro crochet shrug, <laughs> that is difficult, that is a tongue twister, um, from Yarn B Yarn in the Melt Your Mouth colourway which that just sounds fab doesn't it, the Melt Your Mouth colourway and then sticking with a slightly bee theme we had two bee theme comments um sam has started a muscle bra hat from chromatic yarns in the hello bees colorway sam has also started a pair of winter crest socks which is a design by the lovely cat from the heather and hobbs channel here on youtube and she said she's converting those socks to cuff down because it's a toe up pattern but she's struggling with the toe up and um, so she's going to knit them cuff down instead okay how did i get on with my spin well i did a, a little bit of spinning yesterday as you know i got quite a late start and i've almost finished one half of the fiber so only about five ish grams which is not a whole lot of spinning but it's not bad considering how late in the day i got started on my spin and i could have done a little bit more spinning but my cop was looking beautiful so yes i am that person i stopped my spin just so i could take a lovely picture <laughs> in what i hoped to be daylight today except weather has not been for that uh, but yeah i stopped a little bit earlier than i could have just because i'm i'm not usually a person that winds takes the time to wind a super pretty uh, cop or a turtle as they're often known um on turkish spindles but i did in this case and because of the color progression this just looks fantastic it looks like a little flower in the center of that spindle um, and i think it'll, if i could just take this out should i take it out i'm probably going to mess up my spin aren't i should i just do it let's try and do this let's be really stable just to show this off even better don't move don't move Doesn't that look like a pretty flower? Now I'm gonna jinx myself. Right, did it. Yay! <laughs> so I have this bit left and this tiny little bump. I ended up splitting the first half of the fibre into five pieces. Um, when I sat for the video, I split it into four. And then when I started to spin, one of the pieces just wanted to come apart into two. So I thought, okay, well, that's what it wants to do. So um, I'm kind of decided to spin that fractally to mix up the colours as much as I can um, in the plying and yeah so it doesn't really matter how many times I split that yarn. Oh I was also going to say that I noticed that um, Evie of Gillian Eve channel here on YouTube had put up a video for Distaff Day yesterday. I haven't had a chance to watch it myself yet but I'm sure that there'll be if you're interested there'll be a much better explanation of Distaff Day than my half-hearted here's a paragraph off of Wikipedia. <laughs> effort at the start of this video so yeah if you're interested in finding out more i'm sure that evie has more information for you on her video <laughs> right okay so i am going to wrap up for today and i need to get myself organized and ready for today's cast on which will be day 11 oh my goodness so hopefully i should be back tomorrow to share my day 11 cast on and 
please keep commenting below as always to let me know what you have been casting on i hope you'll join me tomorrow but until we do get to spend time together again i hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy great big woolly hugs to you all bye for now <laughs>